the Commission has found reasonable grounds to believe that Israeli security forces committed serious violations of human rights and international humanitarian law. That may amount to, uh, you know, the crimes against humanity. We, we are saying that they have intentionally shot children, they've intentionally shot people with disabilities, um, they've intentionally shot journalists. In the context of the large-scale protest that started in the Gaza Strip on 30 March last year, the Commission undertook and object investigations of the incidents which occurred at these demonstration sites from 30 March to 31 December. We found that 189 Palestinians were killed, 183 of them with live ammunition, and this included children, people with disabilities, journalists and paramedics. We also found that 6,106 people were injured uh, by Israeli snipers shooting at protesters with live ammunition. By the end of the year, 122 of these people had suffered amputations. These included 20 children. The journalists were all marked with press vests that we investigated. Um, and the people with disabilities, as I said, a person, a double amputee in a wheelchair, a person using crutches, they were visibly that. And they're being shot at by snipers. The vast majority of demonstrators were not involved in any form of violence. Uh, there were women and children present. There were people having poetry readings, playing music, um, waving flags, things that can't in any way be considered to be violent. So I think the characterization of all the demonstrators as violent we wouldn't agree with. And specifically to the government of Israel, we recommend that they lift the blockade on Gaza immediately, they ensure that the, uh, those injured at the demonstration sites are granted prompt exit permits to access medical care.